Hello, good morning. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? I'm very well. You good. must be a little tired, I'd have thought. A little tired. We had a show last night and two today, so you know, I'm running on adrenaline and caffeine. The show is The King and I. It's yeah. at the Dominion, and you play Anna, as mm. in King, who is the I. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's one of the, I mean, that is a, it's a big show. It's a big show. It's a big role, which is fantastic. Um, she doesn't shut up. She doesn't stop singing, which is wonderful. But it's, um, yeah, it's a wonderful, massive, big, you know, huge show. Substantial. And actually, and it's one of those things, because I think lots of people know this musical because it's it's a Rodgers and Hammerstein classic. Yeah. But this production, if you want to see it, this is kind of the one to see, because this has the full orchestra, doesn't it? It does have the full orchestra and all the costumes and the set. It's very sumptuous and sort of luscious to watch. And it's a huge theatre. I think it's one of the biggest theatres in the West End, so it's a really massive scale production. Some might say a barn. Yeah, I mean, it, it is. It is. Yes, it, it is. It is drafty and echoey like a barn. Yeah, but but I'm sure not because big crowds. And so, yeah. and like when you think about modern musicals, like mm. if you get two, two memorable songs in a modern musical, you're thinking, oh, that was good. Yeah. This There's is like, so many. It's like a jukebox musical, except they all they wrote them <laughs> all for the show. Except the script yeah. that goes with it as well. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And when I didn't really, I mean, I know The King and I, and everybody thinks they know The King and I, but then you actually study it and you realise, God, there's that song, and then there's this song, and then, the, you know, there's just all of them are hits, which never happens in a musical. Normally there's like one song that everyone remembers and you kind of forget about the rest, but you remember all of them. And I think that's why it's, it stands the test of time, because the script's so strong, but also the music. Yeah, and incredible. and Anna gets lots of lovely tunes, whistle mm. have a tune, get to know you shall be dance. What's the one that the wife, the king's wife, sings to you? Wonderful. I think that's one of the best songs. I, I always feel for Anna because I kind of think, oh, you're the lead and, and she's I, singing she, it. I know. I know. I was gutted. I was like, well, Anna doesn't sing that. She should sing that. It was like when they made Evita the musical yeah. into a film, yeah. uh, Madonna just had another suitcase, another hole. I love yeah. that. <laughs> Yes, she did, didn't she? Yeah. I should have done that, shouldn't you, I? You should have insisted. God, you should have it. said. There's three weeks. So I'm going <laughs> to have, to have a chat. Uh, we should also talk about The King, who's played yeah. by Darren, Darren Lee, Lee. who's had great. such huge success with this yeah. role. Yeah, he's been doing it for a while um, in, in different sort of productions and across the world. And he did it on Broadway as well. Um, and he's just fantastic. He's the best king that you could ever hope for. He's so much fun. He's so lovely. And uh, children. We must talk about children. Lots of children because there yes. are many, many children in this. Yes. Uh, are, are there, do you like teams of them backstage yeah, different colour teams That so there's a green team they were on last night and the, there's red team on today and you know because you have to rotate them because you can't work them because of child laws and all of that which is fair enough silly old child silly laws silly old laws yeah. um, but no and sometimes I look at them and I think god you really need to go but There was go to bed there was one kid last night that was just yawning in my face the whole way through the second <laughs> half and I just wanted him to have a pillow and sleep or sugary drinks you should have just <laughs> slipped him a Coca-Cola yeah, get there some Harry yeah. Out. yeah get Less that down yeah. but they're very good and they're very young to be honest stage in well, such the a little, the, but the, the, the little the little ones princess. are so cute so sweet yeah, so yeah, yeah, sweet yeah, yeah. and they're very lovely no we're lucky we've got some really good kids and the boys that play my son as well they're fantastic oh you they're I've too young they're, sons, oh so they're too young they're too young to yeah oh yeah, okay yeah. those child laws yeah god I have it. to start a campaign <laughs> let <laughs> the children the work let the children where they want to work. <laughs> Let to them. Uh, the King and I will talk some more to Helen George. But just to remind you that uh, it's at the Dominion Theatre. It's a re oh, we should say it's a really limited run. Oh, we've only got three weeks left. Okay, it's so really yeah, crazy. yeah. Uh, it, it's it it finishes on uh, the second of March. So yeah, second March. Yeah, just a few weeks. And do you know what I really can I just say this quickly? Oh, please. What I really like about the show is that I find it really hard when you want to go and see a show and the theatre tickets are so expensive. And what I really like about this is the tickets are so reasonable which I think is so astounding in the West End these days yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so you know there are some good deals to be had which is fantastic as well canny theatre shopper Helen Very George oh, there you go and um, I'm presuming you're going to miss it because like it must be mm. lovely singing these songs with that it's huge wonderful. orchestra behind you I mean that's the thing about theatre it's knackering but it's this incredible immersive experience that you go through and you give everything to it and you know I can't believe my luck I'm in this enormous theatre in these fantastic frocks singing these wonderful songs which I never thought I'd ever do you know, it's been such a dream for me. So, yeah, I'll be really sad to say goodbye to it. Now, I feel, if I, should I know that you can sing and dance? No, because, no, no, no. <laughs> No, no, 
no, I mean, I did, I did some musical theatre training when I was younger, but it's kind of just been buried and forgotten about, yeah, yeah, to be yeah, honest. Yeah. And then I had to like really dust off the cobwebs of my voice <laughs> and see what tatters were left after being on TV for ten years. So, so yeah. did you kind of try it out? Before you said a definite yeah. No, but like, do you know what I mean? Did you kind of go, can I do this? Well, yeah, we had a session just to see if I could. And they were like, yeah, I mean, we, we could do with some lessons, but, you know, maybe. And I was like, okay, let's give it a go. But I do think, because oh, I did this on tour as well. And I think my now I'm coming back to singing a bit older as well. My voice has changed. And I think it's actually stronger than it was before. Having wow. a 10 year rest. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love it. Go, enjoy it. Do it yeah. uh, now we talk about television. Uh, the uh, marvellous call, The Midwife. It's already been announced that this is going on for at least another two series. Uh, yeah. That's what it says here. Yeah, no, I think so. I'm, no, ho- I'm, I'm holding so by this confused. paper. I've had hardly any sleep, but yes. Yes, yeah. two more years. Yeah, yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to join, they're going to film again this summer and then next summer. So yes, absolutely, two more. Now you say they. Has Trixie well, said goodbye? No, no. No, not at all. I mean, you know, the the, the company Okay, is we. We, we, <laughs> we the company are filming. I feel like Hercule Poirot. Did you notice she said they? Uh, uh, maybe because you're all married. Trixie's all married now. Yes, yeah, she is. She's yeah. married off. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. See how long that lasts. Okay. Oh. Is that good? Because where are we? What year are we in now? Somewhere in 62. Oh, we, we're only 62. Oh, we're 60. Yes. No, we must be later than that. Yeah, no, I we're think much. It... That was about 10 years ago. We're a, almost coming up to 1970. We're in yeah, 69. That's what I was thinking. I've somewhere lost about seven years in my head. Um, No, we're about 69 and we're going to be 70s because I've just started wearing long collars and flared trousers. So we're about to hit the 70s. Well done. We got there. Excellent. Excellent. And uh, and is that... Because now, uh, yeah. Helen George of the dark hair, <laughs> we're so used to you being blonde. Is that yeah. your own hair? No. Yes, except this this year is the first year I've been wigged because my they because it has to be bleached so much it was just snapping off. I was like some little bald parrot, so I just went you know what. Never a good gonna, look. It's, it's not the hottest look to be fair. <laughs> so um, I've gone a bit darker just to condition my hair for a moment. So yeah, we yeah. are being wigged at the moment. Yeah. And I think I read somewhere that, have they said that you, these next two seasons that is going to be the the story has been completed. I mean. Yeah, I I don't know, is the honest answer. The nuns left the East End in the early 70s. So I think historically there's always been that notion that that's that's the truth of the matter. Whether it goes on to another life form or whatever, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I remember, do you remember that Australian soap opera, The Sullivans? Yes. It was set during the war. It went on for longer than the war. So I think you're fine. I want to hit the shoulder pads. Yeah. I want to get to the aces, yeah. Yeah. you know. Oh, actually, that would be Tricking so, aces yeah. Would be so much fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And oh, by then you'd have a moped. Maybe you have a moped already. No, she doesn't. No, she had a. She has a car, but was, we'll, yeah. A car? She has a car. This is She's madness. She's just to drive. Madness. Crazy. Absolute madness. Uh, well, look, uh, Call the Midwife continues on BBC One on Sunday's nights. And you can see Helen George singing, dancing, <laughs> twirling in front of a huge uh, orchestra in the King and I. It's at the Dominion Theatre until Saturday the 2nd of March. Tickets available at kingandimusical.co.uk. All one word. Thank you so much for coming in to Thank see us. So Cheers. Take care now. Uh, uh, two show day. Enjoy yay. them. Yeah, yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it won't just be the children having sugary drinks. <laughs> Baraka, here it comes. Virgin Radio.